Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tom Mason here. I'm a Nikon Europe Optics Ambassador and Professional Wildlife Photographer and today I'm here at Wheelands Camera to give you five quick tips to improve your wildlife photography. Now to get started with wildlife photography, one of the easiest things you can do to improve your shooting is to learn more about your subject. In order to get close to them, to understand how they work in the environment, learning more about them is a key thing to do. And one thing that can start with is a decent pair of binoculars. You know, if you've got a good pair of binoculars and you can scout out locations, look at your subject for a long period of time, you understand how it reacts in the environment and how it moves, meaning you're gonna be able to get closer, get in the right position to make the images that you're after. Now my second tip is to get low. You know, a lot of the time with wildlife, they're low on the ground, the animals that we work with are, are much shorter than us. And when we shoot down at them, it makes a very kind of unflattering perspective. You get low on the ground, you crawl down on your hands and knees or even lower than that and just lay on the floor, you're gonna find that your perspective just makes much more interesting images and also makes them much more flattering for the subjects you're working with. You know, when you get eye level with your subject, you get cleaner foregrounds, cleaner backgrounds, and overall, it just makes a far better perspective when you're shooting a wildlife subject. Now, when it comes to camera settings, there's a couple of things that you're gonna to want to set up on your camera uh, to get you started. And one of the main things is to make sure that you're in autofocus continuous mode. This means that as long as you're half pressing that shutter or pressing your finger on the back button autofocus, it's gonna continually track your subject and make sure it's locking focus no matter as it moves through the frame. You know, if you're in autofocus single, it's gonna focus and then the moment it moves, it's gonna be out of focus, meaning it's not gonna keep up and get those sharp images. Now, a second part of this is when it comes to using telephoto lenses, and that's about our shutter speed to ensure that we're getting sharp pictures. Uh, a general rule of thumb is to make sure that you're using a shutter speed that is whatever the millimeter of your lens is in terms of the shutter speed. So here I've got a 200 mil, and I'd want at least one 200th of a second to make sure I'm gonna freeze and get sharp pictures. Now, of course, this is mainly for uh, camera shake in terms of the way that I'm moving the camera, but if you've got an animal that's moving really quickly, moving too fast for that, you're gonna have to push that shutter speed even higher to like a thousandth of a second to freeze that motion and get those really detailed and crisp shots. Just something to keep in your mind when you're out shooting your wildlife. The next thing to think about is supporting your camera. Uh, firstly, when you're hand holding, make sure you've got a really good stance. One hand on the barrel, the other on the camera. Keep your elbows nice and crimped in and then looking through the viewfinder is gonna give you a much more stable support than kind of moving around with your arms out and stuff like that. You know, if you are finding it quite difficult, you'll definitely wanna look for a way to support your camera. It's gonna be using a tripod that's a very flexible and easy support to camera with you and work on multiple locations or use things that are around in the environment. It could be a stone wall, branch of a tree, or even a fence and something like that, that you can lean the camera on, push some weight on, and get that extra stability. It's gonna increase the chance of you getting those sharp shots and getting those really nice images to take home. Now, my final tip is to give your animals space. Uh, when you're composing, one of the big things that people love to do is fill the frame with that animal. And you know, it makes some nice pictures, but a lot of the time when we look at wildlife in the landscape, we're usually giving it a bit more space. We wanna know about the environment it's in. So pulling back a little bit and not using that ultra super telephoto lens can provide some images that have some really nice scope to them and show an animal in a really more environmental context. Something that I like to use, my 70 to 200, means I can put my subject in its environment very nicely and it means that you don't have to always have a super telephoto lens to get some really nice pictures of wildlife. So there you go, there were five quick tips to improve your wildlife photography. Uh, my name is Tom Mason, Nikon Optics Europe Ambassador. Uh, you can find me at Tom Mason Photo on Twitter and uh, Instagram, everything like that. But you know, if you're in the area, if you're in Limerick, come down to Wheelands Camera. They have a fantastic array of Nikon camera gear and the staff here know a huge amount to help you get the best out of your camera gear. They can set you up, give you the settings and ideas that you need to know to make sure that when you get out shooting, you're gonna get the best from your photography.